now listen. Waterbox Live it's coming Wednesday. at you. It is Wednesday, guys. It's a good it day. is our favorite yes. day of the week. It's a special day, too. Special day. Special day. Look who we got with us. Yay! Yeah. We got <laughs> Jess. Jess, number two. Jess we have two Jess. Jess, Jess two. and Jess right here. <laughs> so uh, for all of you who are just joining us, Jess Stewart uh, is now heading up our East Coast yes. dealer network. Yes. I am. I am. So please, if you guys have a, a favorite fish store, comment below. Let us know. Let us know where you want to get water box. Yep, That's what know? I'm talking about. Right? Yeah, listen, we are... We went up to Jacksonville yesterday yes. uh, to visit our warehouse there because the, the shipments are just pouring in. So and much. I mean, it was insane. Insane. Oh, insane. So gosh. it's a tremendous, tremendous um, just production that we have going there. We visited some fish stores while we're up there. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, but it's a great time. But we're getting ready actually for Aquashella, Woo! which is coming here in just a couple weeks. Yeah, Dallas, And we want to drop a promo video for you real quick to Ooh. check out. Go ahead and roll that footage. I want to personally invite you to Aquashella, Dallas, March 30th and 31st. What is Aquashella, you ask? Listen, it's a combination of freshwater, saltwater, reptile, art, and music all in one place. We are going to be debuting our new freshwater line for the first time, the Clear Line. We're also going to have our saltwater line available for you to see. Waterbox is also sponsoring the aquascaping competition. We're going to be aquascaping saltwater and freshwater, plus providing a trophy to the winner. We're also going to be going live during the event with special interviews all day. your tickets today at aquashella.com. That was hot. Dude, that was good. Come I'm on. So now. excited for Aquashella. That's some straight fire right there, everybody. Listen, if you're going to be in Dallas, Texas, if you are in any state surrounding Texas or Texas, anywhere Texas, in anywhere, the US, do it. You need to get on a train, get on a plane, get in the car, and head on down <laughs> to Dallas, Texas. And I'm telling you, it's going to be off the chain. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, so excited. There's no other show quite like this. There's not. I mean, you have art, freshwater, saltwater, you name it. Yeah, yeah. it's a very cool, awesome, unique show. Awesome. Yep. So we have some shout outs, right? We got a lot Who's of people with us joining today? us. We're on Facebook and YouTube. Um, Hello. So we've got uh, Rob, uh, One Production. We got Thomas. Ben, uh, Paul, Terry, Evan, um, Ricardo, yeah. Jason, up, Ricardo? Uh, Terry, Jay James, Wilson. dude, we got, come on, man, we got all the people in here. Share the stream today, guys. We want to comment. Um, we're going to be highlighting the 28 all-in-one frag. Yes, very cool tank. Such a neat awesome tank. Awesome tank. Yeah. So it's going to be the Marine Series all-in-one, mm -hmm. um, great footprint, so two by two. Uh, and we actually did a rock anemone build on this. Yep. Um, and we actually started this tank quite a while ago, Jess. I mean, it Months was... and months ago. Yeah. Um, a lot of people been asking for updates because we kind of talked about it, but we haven't mm -hmm. really done anything as far as highlighting it. So now the time we get to show the tank, uh, the rock nems that they've kind of grown in and look beautiful. Yep. Um, We're going to feed the nems today, yeah, too? Yeah. We're going to show very how cool we feed. how to yeah. do that. So it's pretty cool. Um, It'll be fun. Very, very exciting. So let's go hop over to the other tank and, go. and go check it out. Strolling through the water box. All right. So, so we've got our all in one 28 let's... frag. Um, this, I, I love this tank just because it is an all in one, so nice and compact, but you've got that cool, um, more shallow of the frag, kind of like our big series, but all in one. And we've had this one, oh my God, probably running three, four months, probably mm -hmm. right around there. And um, with, you know, all of our tanks, so you've got, um, Starfire glass, of course. And with this, you've got your two filter sock holders. You've got your main pump return area, a dual return, which gives great flow in this. You don't have to have really extra power heads and stuff if you don't need um, with the footprint and you know having the dual returns. We are running this as the plus model with the AI light. 
and you, you know, know that AI light is just killer <laughs> for this tank. I mean, those NEMS are loving that light. Loving yep. the light, man. That AI Prime, more than powerful enough for this tank. Well, I mean, it pops their color so nice. Really nice. Um, you know, great cabinet with the soft closed doors, everything. All those great features of Waterbox in the all in one in a frag one. type shape. Yeah, and we kind of went with the overall black motif with this one. Um, I think it's really cool to contrast against the rock nymphs with that. So we did black cabinet with our beautiful logo. Um, and you know, we did the black sand and you've got Love just it. the black background, the black lights. It's just really sleek. Yeah, we went all black, right? So black sand, black it's, everything. It's just like, it just makes the nymphs pop. You it know? Does. They have those beautiful fluorescent colors and they come in such a variety. I mean, yep. it, it really showcases the beauty we use, of like we did on um, pretty much all of our other builds, we use the Marco Rock. It's a great shelf. We use a lot of nice shelf pieces. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of flat spots for those rock nymphs to kind of sit in. Um, and we kind of design this to what it's going to look like as everything grows in and, mm -hmm. and really fills out with this tank. So um, finally get to show it off. Yeah, we did use some Fritz bacteria, right? Uh, okay. You gotta have Turbo <laughs> Start. You gotta have <laughs> Turbo to get this. Put up that Turbo Start quickly. in there to get this tank rolling. Turbo Power, um, baby. Yes. <laughs> so a little shout out there. Um, also, we got Michael Moto watching us as well. Fritz hey. is up in the house here, going hey. boom. <laughs> so very, very cool. Um, man, so if you could do a top-down shot too. Also, everybody, this oh. tank is in stock, right? So it is available. It'll ship literally within hours of placing your order. Um, you can go into your local retailer and get this tank. Um, just say, hey, I want the all-in-one frag system from Waterbox. Yeah, the price like points right where it needs to be. I think it's three ninety nine yeah. for the tank. I mean, it's a great introductory tank, I even mean, to your intermediate level. Um, wow, it's just so easy, plug and play, ready to go. It's mm -hmm. taking really the guesswork out of uh, aquarium. Love it. Yeah, it's a nice wide footprint, which is great. I love the um, twenty four by twenty four footprint. It's fantastic. So, Jess, where did we get these NEMS from? So we started this tank a while ago, and we actually got our first batch of the rock nems we purchased from uh, savage reef mm -hmm. and uh he sent us a box of some rock nems and we wanted to really like fill this out and and maximize it so we've been kind of you know feeding rock nems tend to come in a little bit smaller sometimes so we wanted to feed these guys we also ended up bringing in some from eye catching coral just to like really jam pack this full. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been working hard on just spot feeding them, getting them as big and fluffy and happy as possible yes. so that when we do show it, it is impressive. Absolutely. Now, how many rock nymphs are in this tank approximately? About uh, 60, right? Four, I want to say 40 to 50, somewhere around there. Yeah, I mean, there's a um, lot. In like it. I said, we've been kind of adding to it for a while. So mm -hmm. um, we really wanted to make sure that their colors were popped and, you know, they. Sh we're all settled in and, and nice and big. Because um, yeah. you can see some of these have just really taken and grown. Yeah, well, well, let's get some food in there and show the viewers how uh, these things are fed. So these guys, you can do, you know, broadcast feeding with your liquid food. But if you want them to grow and really be like super happy, um, you know, some frozen defrosted mysis or anything meaty works really, really well. They have big mouths. They like to eat. I mean, you can even take chunks of krill and yep. stuff like that. I mean, these bigger ones can, can take some big, big chunks of food. And this is really what's going to get them to grow and be happy. And it's such a fun coral because feeding them, it's so interactive. I mean, mm -hmm. you're going to see the movement. Um, you know, it, it's not necessarily like an SPS, which can be a little bit more difficult. This yeah. is definitely more interactive. They're you easy. To... Yeah, rock nymphs are easy, and they can go in your regular reef tank. They can mix with other corals because they tend to stay in place once they go in. Yep. They're not big movers like regular anemones. Uh, they have so many color varieties. I mean, you could get a hundred of them, and every single one has a little bit of a different color. Yeah, so people are asking, some of the questions are, mm -hmm. uh, do you have any other livestock in there? There you know, is, is there a fish in there? Or there is there no shrimp? Fish. We really wanted just to grow the rock nems and show them off. Um, the only little guy that's running around in there, besides like your normal snabs, uh, crabs and snails, is a little porcelain crab. A little porcelain crab. Um, he makes okay. his appearance when he so chooses on occasion. Um, <laughs> He's, He's very, very, very shy. I yeah, I would love He's a to shy guy. You know, put some like sexy shrimp in here and stuff, um, but we just need to get some more cool inverts. We really wanted to keep this fish free. Yeah, fish free tank. Just so we can one. really just focus on how beautiful this is. So like, I'm gonna take some of this. I like we can take it for like one of these bigger guys, especially with the flow off. Ah, put it right on. 
And they just grab, just like regular anemones, they have, you know, the sticky tentacle. So they will actually grab onto. You can kind of see the mouth right there opening up. Yeah, the up. mouth is the center, you see. Yeah, and then look you at see that, the tentacles guys. That's kind awesome. of have the arms to awesome. trap it. But, I mean, how interactive, how fun. Yeah. I mean, get your kids involved in this. Exactly, exactly. Somebody's asking how long, uh, if they ordered a tank, would it be until they got it? For this um, one? Um, this I, one's in stock. So it's in stock, I, so it's going to ship in one to two days usually. One to two days. Um, and then it does come with, you know, a freight shipment, so it's going to depend on your location. But usually three to four days in transit um, to get to you with a freight carrier because it does come crated. It is very well packed and protected. We've got the cabinets available for them. Um, you know, black and white. I think this looks great in black if you're going to do something like this. Absolutely. Tell your stores, too. Yes, You know, absolutely. lean on them. They're going to be able to help you be successful long-term with this tank. Um, reach out to your stores. Let them know. You need this tank. You want to look at it. You want to buy it. Yes, very, very cool. So you can see, these guys really do like to eat. Um, and that's how, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's an understatement. Right. <laughs> um, and that's really how you're going to get them to be the biggest, because a lot of times, a lot of rock nymphs, when they come in, I mean, they're like the size of a nickel. They're very small, even though they have a lot of color. Um, so you really want to get them to more like show size, you know, definitely spot feed them, make them really happy. Um, and how often are you feeding them, Jess? It, I mean, honestly, as often as you want, I mean, you have to keep an eye on your water quality. Um, the more you feed them, the more they're going to grow. So, I mean, you could go in here every few days and feed them. You know, you just have to keep an eye on your water quality because it's just more waste product and food. Um, but, you know, like once a week tends to be my average of trying to spot feed anything that likes to eat meatier food. Nice. Dude, love this. Love I mean, you this. can see like they are... Yeah, people are commenting, they're like, they love the black on black on black It just look. really so just... Yeah. Sexy. That's very, very <laughs> right. Cool. That's hot. Um, it's hot. 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 <laughs> yeah. So like you go through and give all of these guys, and you know that's why. Also the sticker. I know it's so crazy, but that sticker on the stand pops so great. And we've actually people have have purchased that sticker because they're proud of their water box and they want it slapped right up on the side of the of the stand. Absolutely. It's available on our website. So it is. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. have a tank now and want a water box sticker to really... Yeah, we have them for black and white cabinets. So yeah. um, I think it just really finishes off because they're such a nice finish of a cabinet. They're mm -hmm. just really beautiful. Um, you know, and the logo sticker, I think, just actually does add to it. And yeah. you've got to be proud to have, you know, be proud of your water box. And of course. And as our I said, water box owners are very proud and love their water box. So. Yeah. And it's also, guys, it's... A tank like this is a, a plug and play, right? I call it where it's literally, you can set it on a counter, you can set it on our cabinet as well, mm -hmm. but it's literally fill it up with water and plug it in. Yeah, it comes with filter socks, the media, the sponges, everything. you know, everything you need to get going. You get our plus model, you got your light, um, yeah. you know, and that light can grow anything in this tank. Yeah. You wow. know, if you want soft corals, SBS, anything, it perfectly covers it. So, yeah. no, for um, sure. For sure. I do love, and I love all the frag sears. Like I like our big frag. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Um, I yeah. just like so that shallow design. this is the only design. one that we make that's an all-in-one. Yep. Uh, like this on the frag. We do the same size, actually, as a reef ready version, mm -hmm. uh, with the sump underneath the forty-five, mm -hmm. uh, and then we go three foot, four foot reef ready on the frag sears. Yep. And we've shown the four foot yeah. frag eighty point four recently. But man, how, how long will it take for them to eat the food that they've already captured? Um, in about. Probably about half an hour, everyone will be consumed all of it, and we can turn the pumps and everything back on. I mean, you already see, like, some of these up here on the top. They'll be opening back up shortly, and the food will be gone. Once they spread that skirt out and they're, once again, back to kind of that normal state before feeding, you know they've already yeah. consumed it and digested it. Very, very, very cool. I wonder if we can get our very, porcelain very cool. to show himself anywhere. No, there's food <laughs> around. <Yeah. laughs> they're such cool crabs, but they He's real camera just shy, will not like participate in being seen. Now he is a hiding today. <laughs> yeah, very, so these guys cool. are gonna be super happy. Uh, feed them like once a week and these things are growing. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, that is fantastic, everybody. I mean, just really, really sharp. Man, beautiful Rich, tank, I wish you were here, Rich. I'm yeah. telling you, listen. Beautiful tank, beautiful NEMS. It's beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful tank uh, and NEMS. Hold on one second here and I'll can I switch on over? <gasps> All right. We're back. It's like Teleported. magic. Teleported. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We're back. So, 
Boom. All right. So maybe we should uh, read some comments. Yeah. Um, Is everyone loving everybody... the NEMS? Who has um, NEMS in their tank? So, yes. So somebody says, why not put a spike fin goby? Would be a great Ooh. tank for one. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of nano gobies and stuff that could go really well in there. We just kind of chose to go completely fishless. I mean, we have a lot of tanks here. We've done a lot of different stuff. Um, I really just like the idea of having, having some cool inverts and nothing disturbing, just the view. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's just like we just want it to be that, like, dark, just color popping on those anemones. Now that the rock is darkened up a bit since it was the Marco rock, mm -hmm. which is dry. Yeah. Nice you know, because when the white, white rock first went in, it, it was very bright against all the black, so it didn't showcase everything as well mm -hmm. either. So now it's kind of darkened up, it's worked out well. Just another reason, you know, kind of took some time to mm -hmm. really get to this tank is, you know, I wanted to show it a little more mature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, Rob says, whoop, whoop to Rich. You know, <laughs> he's not with us today. That's okay. Get the two uh, Jesses. I can't, we can't, I can't lose. fill Rich's shoes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Uh, Erica commented, if anybody is waiting on the 20 cube or 10 cube that have been back ordered, they have just shipping, landed. Shipping, shipping, shipping. Shipping today. So over the next few days, all orders should be pushing out. Yeah. Um, we've yeah, been, so yeah, we've got a ton coming so, in right now. So everything's going pretty much mm -hmm. back in stock, the cubes and everything. So. Um, your order is shipping. Which Perfect. Perfect. a great NEM cube tank as well. That, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's time, everybody. Uh -oh. Drum roll. For <laughs> Fish <laughs> of the Week. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Come on now. Listen. Fish of the Week, everybody, is the Clown uh, Trigger I love Fish. The clown yes. trigger. I Hot. Do. Hot fish. Listen, people that are usually getting into the saltwater hobby, they are very attracted to this fish because mm -hmm. of the colors. I mean, look at the pattern on that fish. It's just so fun. Yes. Yeah. Definitely the most gorgeous trigger awesome. that's out there. Awesome fish. I do like the Santhic trigger as well, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, yeah. I like all triggers. They have a really good personality. <laughs> um, they're a great fish. They are not really considered reef, invert, or small fish, say, you know, safe. So do keep thong. that in mind. Yeah. 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 But like, now the trigger fish have that thing on the top, right? That's that mm -hmm. little that fin on the very top of their head. It kind of gives them the name of the trigger fish because it kind of looks like a, a trigger um, on a And gun. it's uh, very hard and sharp. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to net them, <laughs> don't net them. They'll get stuck. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that kind of stuff. So capable. they basically can lock themselves into rock with their mm -hmm. trigger fins. Right. Um, you know, and these guys, they get pretty big. Yeah, so I said maximum yeah. growth size on this guy, 20 inches. So yeah. you make sure you have a big water box to put them in. And they know. are aggressive. Triggers are, yeah. in general, a more aggressive species. Yeah. So, you know, just they're not going to go into your community peaceful reef tank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're so pretty. So but, fish and only. they eat like crazy. Like, I mean, as soon as you put the food in uh -huh. there, they're like, Kah! I mean, they just go crazy. They have, and they want to be entertained, you mm -hmm. know? They need mm -hmm. something to do in a tank. Yeah. I, I've seen them yeah. play with marbles before in tanks, which yeah. is just mind They want like shells to chomp on. And oh, stuff. Yeah. They have, you know, sharp teeth to use, yeah. so. Um, stuff so, to play with. Uh, the Padunk Reef says, come on now. <laughs> come on now. Listen. Um, now they do. Now you cannot buy these clown triggers in small babies too. Oh, oh yeah, so cute. Oh, real gosh. tiny. All right, right. So I've seen them like an inch, and they're the most adorable little thing ever. Yeah. Yep. So you can definitely put them in, you know, in a smaller. I say a smaller tank, but you know, a three foot, four foot tank as they're babies. Up. But as they grow, be prepared. No, they're you're gonna, gonna need some room. In there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and eventually, it'll outgrow that two thirty, and you're gonna need a water box custom to put it into. What? So we can do whoop. it all. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, oh. everybody. But we appreciate you checking in with us. Friday, we're going to be back at it with mm -hmm. something. Uh, oh, actually, we're, we're doing the next freshwater build. Um, kind of go over Oof. some filtration and some stuff yep, like yep, that. Yep. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, Jess, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> uh, once again, everybody, enjoy the stream. Share it. Comment. We're here for you. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.